Hey, my friends. Happy Tuesday. How are you guys doing? I miss you guys so, 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 so much. I have been like the last two weeks have been chaotic and wild, but I'm so glad to be back here. I miss you guys like freaking crazy. Like it has been nuts. So this past weekend, uh, we had Saints. Um, Saint is the makeup that I sell. And um, the Saints conference and the theme was love. Um, so it was like the, the love conference. And so a bunch of my girls flew in from all over the United States and Canada to come visit with us. And um, thank you, D'Angelo. Um, hey, oh my God, everybody's here. Hi. Oh no, Kelly, I hope you feel better. Thank you so much. It was really fun. So um, it was, they had these awards. It's kind of like the St. Grammys or whatever. Like it was like most interesting was the very last award. And it was so funny because he said when, uh, uh, Billy Flanagan, he's RMC, he's a great guy, really funny, very entertaining. And he said, um, who hasn't this person done? I mean, what? What has it? And it was so funny. The whole company is dying laughing. Like we just absolutely died. And so I was like, this guy just called us, called me a hoe. It's fine. <laughs> the funniest thing ever. It could not have happened to a funnier, like it could not have happened to a better person that he like made that joke because I'm so like silly and ridiculous. And so that's totally something I would probably like, like if I made a faux pas like that, I would laugh it off too. So it was just so great. Um, thank you so much. I just, I just curled it a little bit. Um, it was looking crazy. We went on roller coasters. I took my team to Bush Gardens and we were on roller coasters. And so it was looking a mess. And so I finally got home and was able to wash it. <laughs> um, so anyways, we actually don't have, um, we don't have samples, but we do have a 30 day return policy. So if you get your makeup, just comment the word match and I'll send you the color match form. Um, so you can fill it out, but I want to show you guys a neat trick that I've been doing that you guys would like ab that you guys will absolutely love. Um, yeah, it works for oily skin. Um, a lot of times oily skin is oily because it needs more hydration and this makeup doesn't have any drying ingredients like alcohols. So it's really, really great for all skin types really. And if you have acne, it really helps with that because it has beeswax. So it's really, really healing. Um, yesterday's podcast was crazy. You guys, we got so many comments. People were like, what the front door <laughs> like nobody understands like what happened it was crazy right um okay so let's talk about i want to show you a little bit about what i call underpainting um i well i it's not it's not i didn't make that up like they it's called underpainting it's not my word um anyway so i use my illuminator this cream illuminator is like a this is rose gold and you see how it has a little bit of a shimmer I was over here questioning my own mother. That's what I said. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm totally questioning my own mama. Um, so, okay. If I take this shape brush, right, it has, it's kind of smaller. So, normally I apply my makeup with, like, let's say the 3D brush um, or the detail brush. And those brushes have a little bit more, this is not as fluffy. It's a little bit more dense. This one is a little fluffier. It, the bristles move a little bit more. And I want to show you a fun little trick. So if you're a Saint customer already, um, or even if, if you're not a Saint customer, I can match you to your shades. But I want to show you a trick. So this is the shape brush. You see it has a small end and kind of a bigger end. And I'm going to go in that cream illuminator, right? And it looks like really shiny. The cool thing about this makeup is it looks glowy, but not greasy. So at first when I thought of cream makeup, I was like, uh, it's probably like, you know, greasy, oily. It's not, this is a very, um, it's not like a, it, it's not oily. Like it's, you know what I mean? Like it's just a nice, it's just a really nice texture. So I take this illuminator all over and literally dust it all over my face. One trick I want to kind of share with you is if you use your creams as a powder, like kind of dust in it like, a, oh, good morning. Dust in your creams like it's a powder. You will get a much better finish and you'll love it a lot more. So a lot of us look at the cream makeup and we try to like dig into it and get the pigment on our brush. But if you just dust it like a powder, you'll get, you'll see, just try it. You'll, if you try it, you guys don't have to let me know. So I'm just dusting this illuminator all over like it's a powder, just kind of dusting it all over. And you can see the glow, right? 
So it, but it's not, it's not greasy or anything. Like you can see it's a little shiny looking or whatever. So I want to show you, no, it doesn't look like that tacky. It's, it's not ta uh, like tacky, sticky, like chapstick. No, it just feels like, like your, your skin. It just feels like a second skin. It doesn't feel like anything. Um, if it feels really tacky on your skin, there's probably way too much. With this makeup, you need very, very, very little, like, you need so minimal amounts of this makeup. So I kind of dust this all over, right? So now I want to show you another trick. So that's kind of like the the underpainting, as I called it. Um, another trick with your contour. Hold on, let me find the right brush. Here it is. No, that's not it. Stand by. I got to find the right brush. This one's it. I use this smudge brush. And I, when I did start doing my contour this way, I really, really like it a lot. I like the lift that it gives. So if you're someone who needs a good lift on your face, try this trick. This is the smudge brush. You can use it as an eyeshadow brush because both ends are pretty dense. Hey, Kelly, I hope you have a great day too. Good morning. Oh, I love the sunflowers. Oh, thank you so much. It was a fun weekend. I can't wait to get my award in the mail. It's like, it's supposed to be really like red and pretty and say love on it. I don't know. I can't wait. And I never get phone calls until I'm on a live. So, um, okay. Smudge brush in the contour. The contour colors are a little bit thicker. Like they're not, they're not like super creamy. They're a little bit, the, the podcast girl, the podcast episode yesterday was nuts. Um, so I kind of, you kind of got to be the boss in it, but I kind of wiggle my brush into my contour and I get a good amount on there. Like it's not super crazy though. Right. Oh my gosh. Your, your kit is finally coming. It's about darn time. Okay. So if you take your, this smudge brush and you come down from your, from the corner of your eye straight down and feel just under your cheekbone and you put a little dot right there, right? And you come up from that dot and up to the top of your ear, you create like this triangle. And so this will kind of give you a little bit of a lifty lift, right? And you can see that it's dark, but it's not super, super crazy. Yeah, you can do the blow dryer too. The blow dryer will soften it a little bit. But what you'll find is this triangle kind of, you see my cheeks go like this, my cheekbone goes this way, but I trick the eye by creating contour that goes up, right? Now this is no rules, like makeup, obviously it has rules like color science and the bone structure and all that. But the only rule is what makes you feel pretty, to be honest with you. So come down from the corner of your eye, find the cheekbone and go right under it with your little dot, right? And then go up to Jesus, up to Jesus, over to the ear. So you create like this triangle. You see, it's, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Don't don't freak out if it's not, like, perfect. You can literally, like, slap it on. It's just to give you an idea of, like, where your contour goes, right? And then you just kind of lift it up and then curve it around. If your forehead is big enough, if you have a smaller forehead, you might not need to do it this way. And I put my contour right up to my hairline. Yes! We're finally going to be in the UK and Australia, and that's like so many people have asked, UK, Australia, do you guys ship to UK? Do you guys ship to Australia? And I'm so excited to finally say yes. We're thinking sometime this year or early next year, but definitely about a year time frame. So I have, um, if you want the list for the, um, the wait list, I can totally put you on that and make sure that you know exactly when the makeup is coming your way. Um, what goes on dark doesn't stay dark. Yes. Thank you, Kelly. That's a good point. This makeup blends out a lot. So it looks really scary, but because of the, it's, it's the opacity, right? It's so much different than liquid. So it's not, it's absolutely not scary. Um, this is the smudge brush. So this one is smudge and you can see it has like a dense, a dense dome end. Um, okay. So we're contouring against the hairline, kind of coming as far as you want. This is going to blend out. So you can do it really heavy. Like It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. This is going to blend. And that's why this makeup is basically dummy proof. Because look, you can literally just like slap it on your face. I promise it'll blend. Like it'll blend out. And you see how when I put that brightener, that illuminator all over my face, you see how it automatically gave me that, that line where the light catches. So to do my contour, I just kind of go right next to that line. Just kind of hug it a little bit. It's already there. These are natural. It's I'm literally following the natural shadows on my face, right? 
And then you can blend that in. Like it, it just, it, if you don't want a nose contour, you don't have to. But these are things that as you use this makeup more and more, you will become more and more comfortable with it and you will feel more and more like yourself. Like you're not covering anything, you're just enhancing. Um, so make sure you text the word, just comment the word match right here and I'll send you a color match form. Does it cover severe redness? Yeah, that's a good question. So there's a lot of a lot of girls who have rosacea and a lot of redness in the skin and this is actually a lot of these shades most of these shades are um have like uh color correcting properties so you will get a lot of evening in the skin tone and it does it does cancel out a lot of red um so much so to like a lot i have a lot of rosacea customers that really really love it um, okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I use this for my contour, I'm going to use the smaller end of this um, smudge brush, and I'm going to come into this lightest shade. Um, I use linen, and I just kind of sweep into it, and I'm going to brighten my T-zone, right? Hey, Amber! I'm going to brighten my T-zone. So you see when I put that illuminator on, it it automatically showed me what what is naturally illuminated, and so that's what I want to enhance. It's just the areas where... See how putting that illuminator really shows you where like everything naturally already is? So I'm just enhancing that. Where is it? Here I am. Um, I couldn't remember which one I needed. Okay, so I just kind of dust out in the center of my face. I have super red face and been using for four years now. Love it. Covers so good. Oh, thank you, Rachel, for sharing that. Can you tell us about your skin routine and also what you put on your face before the makeup? Um, I did, I was using Elastin, but I actually started using the Drunk Elephant SPF and it works just fine. The Kosas is another good one. Um, the Kosas, this is SPF 40. The, um, the Drunk Elephant one is, is the Drunk, the Drunk Elephant one is only 30. So if you want the 40, get the Kosas. That's a, it's just a lightly tinted, very light SPF. Um, but in the morning I cleanse my face and I use the, this is on my Amazon storefront. So if you want the links to this, I can totally get, get that for you. But I use the Drunk Elephant, the protein, the proteiny with the uh, Lala Retro and the vitamin B, like the, the hydration, the B Hydra. And I love that combo on my skin. My skin has been drinking it up and absolutely loves it. My skin feels so good. And then at nighttime, I use the Saint Cream. The Saint Cream is much thicker, so it's really, really nice to use at nighttime. So I think that you'll you'll really like that a lot. And then um, I use the Refresh Wipes at night, but I still use my same cleanser every morning and every night. And that's the Benefit Pore Clearing Cleanser. Um... I love this method. I will try it after therapy so I don't cry it all off. <laughs> Good for you getting therapy though. Therapy's everybody like makes a big deal about therapy and I'm like, uh, it's kind of nice. Lauren Co. Um, oh my gosh, don't you love don't you love Lauren Co? She's great. She's an artist here with Saint and she's she's amazing. I think she was the youngest artist to ever hit um a top leader status here, and that's that's pretty cool. Um <laughs> I got you. Okay, I'll send that to you. Um, okay, so now you see I did that brightening highlight right here down the center. Everywhere where that light was naturally kind of already enhanced. Um, so that's how I use my brightener. It looks crazy. It looks cakey. At first when you put it on, you can see how it's like. But when you blend it, it melts into your skin, right? So whenever you put this makeup on. Yes, I do. I do want the race car Barbie. Um, hold on. Let me screenshot that so I don't forget. Um, did, I thought I texted you more about that. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so whenever you apply this on your skin, it'll melt into your skin. So the heat from your skin will actually like soften it and it creates this really beautiful finish. And that's what I think a lot of people love about it the most. And what you'll see is that uh, the, my foundation is actually these colors and my main highlight shade together. So these are all going to tap together and blend out together to create my foundation. So my main shade that I use, which is Sandy, I kind of tap into that and I'm just going to kind of put that everywhere else, right? So you don't actually, you don't actually have to do like layers and layers of crazy makeup. You just kind of do one layer of crazy makeup. <laughs> and I use this color Sandy above my beard area because I like the way that it looks. I use a lighter color down here because it's winter and I need to match my neck a little better. 
So that's how I use my makeup. So if you have two or three different main like foundation shades, that's okay. It's totally normal. And that's what's great about this makeup is it's really versatile. So you can see I put my sandy color up here. I'm going to use this lighter color called amber. And I'm going to use this kind of down here. So below, like it below my contour in my beard area. I like a fuller coverage, like a really heavy medium to full coverage makeup. I like the way that it looks. You can go super light coverage or super full coverage. It's totally up to you. Um, but that's the great thing is that you can totally do whatever you want with your makeup. It works just fine. Um, and so this, we are so used to having to do makeup a certain way. And I think that a lot of us get stuck on, I want to do it perfectly, but this makeup allows you a little bit of grace so that you don't have to do it absolutely perfectly. You can just do it in a way that works for you, blend it out, and you'll learn it really quickly. And so you'll see that whenever I, Candace, I'll be honest with you, I usually only use one, but I like to show the different uses for the different brushes. So you might see me using multiples, but you can use only one brush. You don't have to buy a million brushes. Um, I did, I like to show like the fluffiness and how like more fluffy equals sheer coverage. Um, more dense is more full coverage. Your beard area. Oh honey, this hits me in my billy goat chin. <laughs> Um, but anyways, you can use as many or as few brushes as you want. You really only need one. And if you say, hey, Mackenzie, I'm on a budget. I only want to get one brush. What is that one brush? I would say get this one. It's the 3D brush. And I like it because it has a very dense end up here, but it's great for like this area. And you can sweep or tap. I always recommend just tapping your makeup. Um, and then this end has a more dense end, so you can kind of press it into your skin a little better. But you'll notice that like whenever I'm applying my makeup, I'm just pressing in like, and it's nothing crazy. I'm not dragging or like, uh, I'm not dragging it across my skin, yanking my skin or anything. Does the foundation travel throughout the day? Do you have to apply it? Um, I don't have to reapply it. I, I always recommend a good setting spray. Like I, but I, the, I do with it. I, I like to use setting spray with any makeup. Um, but a, a lot of my customers don't even use setting spray and it's fine. So you, you should be okay. But I like the, I like a setting spray. I think it looks prettier and lasts a little bit longer. And there's some really great ones that I recommend. Saint has a really good setting spray. And if you are someone that, um, if you are someone, oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um, if you are someone that has drier skin, especially in the winter, like I do, if you use the Saint setting spray, it has aloe in it, which is great for moisture. And so it'll really give you that hydration, but also bulletproofing and it won't like, it'll, it'll keep your makeup on all day. So, um, the Saint setting spray is a good one to invest in. Some of the other ones I like are the Urban Decay All Nighter. And recently I started using this one, which is the Professional Super Setter. And I tried this one, which I've never used a, like a, uh, illuminating, uh, setting spray, but I tried this by Anastasia and I really like it too. So don't be afraid to explore with those different, with those different products and see what you think and what works on your skin the best. Um, a lot of people like to ask like, what's the best, whatever. And I'm like, you know, it's really up to your skin a lot of the time. So like when you try your makeup, see how your see what brushes you love the most and just don't be afraid to explore with different ways. What shade do you recommend for dark circles? If you have dark circles, I recommend trying the demi shades for to color correct because a lot of the times when we have like dark circles or discoloration and we try to put um, like regular concealer on it, it just kind of enhances the, it kind of makes those dark areas a little bit more chalky. And so by just color correcting instead, you can solve for that, that discoloration without going super crazy and it's less product so it's less texture and you can get like a total makeup free look and like you know what i mean like it's a no makeup makeup situation um so if you want to get color match just comment the word match and i'll get that color match form sent over right away or you can always just message me directly too oh you can actually let me text you my number too um i'll put free color match text and then I'm going to put, there you go. And then I'll pin it. 
There we go. So if you just want to text me on that number, you can totally do that or comment the word match and I'll send it that I'll send it to you that way. Um, oh, hey, Mary. Mary's on my team, y'all. You guys, we had such a good time at the conference this weekend. So I, my team and I rented an Airbnb in Tampa and it was this big, it was basically like this big mansion that we rented and they had a ton of rooms, a ton of bathrooms. There was about 30 of us there and we just had the greatest time connecting and sharing and um, it was amazing. We all just watched the conference together on Saturday and it was nice to be surrounded by my team when I won that award and like, it was really cool. It was just amazing. Um, and if you, by the way, they released a whole new set, a, a whole new like rewards program for, for artists. So like you, it, it's so many opportunities to like, I think recognition is so important. I'm someone who enjoys recognition as a PI. You don't get recognition. Like you can start charging more, but you don't really get recognized for anything. Um, and so, um, here being an artist with Saint, like they're really doing more for recognition and you know, little treats here and there, which I think is really cool. So anyways, if you have ever thought about being a saint artist, totally become a saint artist. It is so amazing. The sisterhood is amazing and you can sling some makeup and there's no minimum sales requirements unless you want to build a team, which that is optional. Um, so if you like, if you don't sell a bunch of makeup one month, like nobody cares, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can kind of do literally whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just tapping in all over where I applied all that crazy color of makeup, right? Oh, the tens. So yes, if you, usually six months or so for the, the color you use the heaviest will probably be, for some it's contour, for some it's foundation, but you should get several months out of each ten. But you use so, so very little. Um, cause it's really, really pigmented. So you, the biggest mistake new, a uh, new, uh, Saint customers make is applying too much. I did it. I think it's like a rite of passage. Everybody does it. And they're like, Oh my God, this is cakey and so muddy. But when you realize that you really don't need that much, it's like, Oh, and so that's why it's kind of, it's a different, it's definitely different. It takes a little learning, but if you just take my hand, I'll take yours too. And I'll teach you how to use it. And you'll be like, man, I've never felt so pretty. My skin has never looked so good. And like you will absolutely, you'll get so many compliments. It's, it's insane. And I think a lot of that has to do with like the definition. It's the, the youthful glow that you get. And it's just really pretty. And I think like a lot of people are just married to their liquid foundation. And even if you have a foundation you love and you don't want to switch, you can still build a palette. Like you can have lip and cheek shades, setting powder, balms, eyeshadows, everything is individual. So don't be afraid to like really go in and build your own palette that works for you. Okay. So I used my 3D foundation. I used two different foundation shades. I used one on the top, one on the bottom, just cause it blends better. Um, I use a brightening highlight right here in my T-zone and then my contour, which I, I kind of did that lifty lift. And you see how it just blended, but you can still see where it created a little bit of that shadow. So it's kind of just like, it's just an enhancement of your natural features. In this case, I created a little lifted look when I don't have one. And you see it's not super crazy, even though at first it looks crazy and really dark, right? Um, so anyways, it's really, really fun. So contact, comment, match, or text me for a color match and I can match you to your shades and then you can build your own palette however you want it. Okay. So now that I've applied my main one layer foundation, now I'm going to come in with like a little bit more dimension and warmth. So when you think of your contour, right, when we're contouring our face, we want to find, if you roll your brush down to where it goes in and you feel that crevice, that's where your contour goes, is in where it sinks in. And then if you roll it up from that onto the top, that's where your bronzer goes. So contours down here where it kind of, see it sinks into my face, bronzer sits on top. And you can kind of feel where that cheekbone is. So that kind of gives you an idea of where your contour versus bronzer goes. So I'm going to tap into my bronzer. This is Bella. I'm very, very generous with Bella. I love Bella. I like a little bit of a heavier look of makeup. Like I like it to look like I'm wearing makeup. You can use it very lightly um, and the different brushes make a difference. So I'm using a more dense brush. So it's going to be a little bit more full coverage. If you want something much more sheer and light, you'd want to use a, fl a fluffier brush. 
So it's just a matter of like what your preference is. No, it will not stay like that. <laughs> but I just kind of tap this. I know it looks crazy. And this is one thing I love about creams versus powders is they it'll move if you want it to. So with a powder, you put it there and that's it. Like it's kind of it's kind of stained there, right? So this is a 3D brush. Let me show you how using a fluffier brush will give you a more dusted sheer look and you can use this blush and bronzer brush and just kind of dust all over now your bronzer is something that's kind of a it can go kind of in those high points right like you want it to be a little warmer I like mine a little heavier that's my preference there is no you do not have to be a makeup artist to know this makeup like you know clearly my makeup looks like crazy sometimes but I just like you can be confident as an everyday woman and just get a little bit of dimension it doesn't have to be like rocket surgery you know what I mean so you can just kind of apply your makeup in a way that makes you feel beautiful so you saw how much bronzer like it looked like a lot the bronzer is, has the bronzer has a more sheer um, finish so it's not going to be as it's not going to be as like super full coverage um, when I started wearing this makeup, I was so used to foundation that I learned quick that I didn't need much. You really don't. You really don't. You can use as much or as little as you want. It is buildable. But the thing is a lot of people want, like they say, oh, I really want full coverage. I need full coverage. But with this makeup, you don't, you actually don't need, like a lot of people think full coverage means more layers. But if you just put a little bit of this on, you'll be like, holy bananas. Like it really, it really is. It gives you like a full coverage appearance without having to apply so super much. And it's kind of nice. And like I said, there is a learning curve. Like once you get this makeup, you're going to try to apply it like your liquid foundation. And it's just not the same. There's no comparison. Um, so, okay. So now I've done my bronzer. And you see I kind of used a big fluffy brush and kind of dusted all over. That's what I love about a fluffy brush. It, it makes it very sheer coverage. Um, you can bend the bristles a little bit, right? Okay. So now that I've applied my bronzer, now I'm gonna come in with some blush. Now I've talked about it's one layer of makeup. You can do this in one layer. I like doing it like this, so don't judge me. But because you only need so little of this, it's not like heavy layers of makeup, okay? So yes, you can still layer with your different colors without, without it being like super crazy because you really don't need that much. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I wanna take a little bit of my, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna use this shape brush. This is the one I used for my illuminator underneath everything. I'm gonna tap into my nude and my pink grapefruit. I just kind of, I like them together. <laughs> I like how pretty they are together, like the pinky with the nudie. So I'm just gonna kind of tap this on the back of my cheekbone and just kind of lightly dust it. Remember how I said use your creams? If you treat your creams like a powder, you'll get a really beautiful finish. And then once it's on my cheeks and it's it's from my it's transferred from my brush to my cheeks, then I can just kind of dust off the rest all over the rest of my face just to kind of get that really pretty pop of color. Really, really nice. And then again with the, the fluffy brush, just to kind of blend everything. I like my makeup a little bit heavier, like not heavier, just more full coverage. You can do yours light or you can do it heavy. It's really, really preference. This is buildable makeup. So just comment match. I'll send you um, the color match form to get matched. But this is a great way to start with your makeup. And you can also like, you guys, you don't have to buy, you don't have to spend a lot of money on makeup. Like if you just want to get started with some, with a small palette, you can just start with like the number four collection. These are, these palettes are customized, but we also have some collections that are pre-made. So if you just want something basic, this is a foundation, the concealer, a contour and a blush. That way you get a feel for like the dimension and then you can start exploring with more colors, but definitely allow yourself to, to get this and the, this and the 3d brush together. So it comes with these four shades, the palette and the brush. It's like 107 bucks. So, um, it, it'll last you a good long time too. Um, so don't be afraid to try it out and Saint has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not crazy about your makeup, you can totally just return it. It's no big deal. You're not going to hurt my feelings. All I just feel like as long as you feel beautiful, that's all that matters. Um, and obviously everything isn't for everyone, but I really think you'll love it. Um, okay. So I'm going to use this, uh, fluffy brush here. This is the small end of the shape brush. This is the one I used for my illuminator and my blush. 
tap into my setting powder and I'm just gonna dust this right here. And again, you can use just one brush for your whole face. I started with the four and the 3D brush combo and I quickly learned that this was the makeup for me and learned how to not take it on like foundation and now I love it. It's a little bit of a learning curve, but you'll see as soon as you play with it, you'll be like, ah, okay. I'm kind of getting the picture here. So it's really nice. So I'm just kind of dusting on my setting powder lightly, right? Dust, 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 dust. Dusting on my setting powder. On my eyelids too, because today's Tuesday, so I'm going to do an eyeshadow Tuesday video after I get off this live. I'm going to do that video for you guys and share a pretty two shadow eyeshadow look. Um, and let me do my brows real quick. I Saint has a really good uh, brow wax and it is very strong. So if you're someone who likes the brow wax, I highly recommend it. However, my favorite one that I use, it's the, the one that I use all the time. It's the, hold on, I can't find it. I changed, I reorganized my, oh, here it is. I reorganized my vanity area. Now I can't find anything. Um, I like to use the Benefit Goof Proof pencils with the uh, 24 hour brow setter. This is my favorite. You can find these on my Amazon storefront too. If you want the link to that, just let me know. Um, so for makeup comment match and for anything else, you can just like message me or leave a comment with what you need and I'll make sure you get it. Okay, so I'm just, I like to use this goof proof. This is, this isn't the goof proof. This one is called precisely my brow. And this one has a smaller tip than the goof proof, but it's got, it's the same formula, I think. And so I just use this to kind of like Bella and drift. Oh my gosh, Bella is bronzer. Bella, the bronzer that I use, you can use that on your eyes. Isn't that so pretty, Donna? I love it. And then top it with drift. Oh my gosh, so easy, so fast. And drift is 100% needs to be in everyone's palette. <laughs> I like this, um, the small end of this because you can just kind of do light pencil. When I need to use my setting powder to set my lid and bronzer as brown shadow and it will last. It really does. Okay. This is like a little flicky situation. So I just do little bitty flicks. I don't go crazy like drawing on a whole new eyebrow. I mean, you totally can with these, but I just like to kind of fill in where it's a little more sparse and just kind of brush it, I guess. It's never perfect, but it's fine. It's fine. I can never get my eyebrows exactly how I want them. Okay, so once you get your brows filled in how you want them and brushed how you want them, then you just use the brow setter. So whether you use the the Saint Brow Wax or you use the, like another kind of brow setting, whatever, you can do it however you want. Also, if you've ever, if you ever wanted to fill in your brows with like an eyeshadow color, I would use like for, for the color of my brows, I might use like Oak our Saints eyeshadow color called Oak. It's a really pretty cool brown and it'll it'll fill them in nicely. So there's lots of brushes that you can use for that. Um, one of them might be this one. This is the line brush. You can kind of dab that in your eyeshadow and kind of use it as for little hair strokes and then brush it. Eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters. Yeah, sometimes mine aren't even related. <laughs> They're like, we, we didn't even go to school together. Um, okay, so let's see. What else? What else? I get, oh, and then the illuminator over. So you know how I did the underpainting? My eyebrows are distant because <laughs> You know how I did the underpainting? So I did the illuminator all over, like under my makeup. I'm going to go in. This is the same brush I used in my setting powder, by the way. It's totally fine. You'll be fine. Um, when I dust it into my rose gold illuminator, and I just kind of tap it right here on the tops of my cheekbones, cheek my cheekbones. These are cheekbones now. Um, when you put it on top of your cheekbones, you can kind of catch the light just really subtle. It doesn't have to be super crazy. And that's when I say, see how lightly I'm tapping in? Like I'm not digging into it. And I think once you get the hang of that really light sweepies and dusting in your cream makeup, you really start to see that it's like, holy crap, like you really don't need that much. It's insane. 
So I'm just lightly dusting that illuminator. And see how you have this really pretty glow? But it's not greasy. It's not oily. It just feels like skin. Like it doesn't feel like textured or who somebody call it chapstick. Like it just doesn't feel like that. So um, where's my, I had a little, now I don't know where it is. Um, anyways, I'm disorganized. Um, anyways, if you want to get matched for this makeup, that's the wrong way. Um, just comment match here or you can uh, text me or send a carrier pigeon, whatever you want to do. Um, and I will color match you to this. Oh, text the number here too, if you want. Um, I will color match you to your custom shades. And what I like to do is I like to build you a shopping cart, right? Or not a shopping cart, a list, a shopping list. And I'll say, Hey, based on your skin tone, your eye color, your, your, your skin tone, your, uh, what is it? Skin tone, eye color. I look at the root of your hair, um, your eyebrows. I look at everything, the, the shape of your face. And I like to kind of match you that way. So I will match you to my best recommendations for your skin. So just make sure you stand in front of a window, like no sunlight or anything. Um, in fact, cloudy days are better. So it's okay if it's snowing. Um, I know some of you are going through some snow, um, but just send the picture facing a window, no lights on behind you. And I'll, I'm pretty good at color matching. And just trust me in the color match process. And if there's anything that you don't like about your shades, we can totally swap them out or even just like you can return and purchase something else or you can just like return it. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. Um, and so that's what I'm here to take care of, to take care of for you. So don't hesitate to text me. Um, when you get a color match, you will have my text number. That's it right here. I pinned it at the bottom. That's my number. You guys can text me. You don't, you don't have to like go through any crazy, just text me directly. Um, I pride myself on uh, providing great customer service. So if there's anything you need, please reach out. Just finish the dogfish, mom. Girl, if you guys do not listen to my podcast, it's called The Dating Detectives. And we posted a uh, podcast yesterday about a woman whose husband got with the mama and it was a doozy. You have to go listen to it. You can listen to it for free anywhere you get your podcasts. Um, you can even sign up as like, if you want to be subscribed to our Patreon and then you get like two bonus episodes a month and there's like a whole like, um, uh, forum that you can connect with us and everything really, really fun. We've been, we've been loving you guys' support so much and we love that you guys are listening. So thank you so much for listening to our podcast and allowing us to share these crazy stories with you. I won't, I will give nothing away. <laughs> But it was, it was wild. So go listen to yesterday's episode called Dogfish Mom. If you haven't heard the episodes before that, they're just as crazy. Go freaking listen and go nuts. Um, she really is great at customer service, answers quickly, and answers no matter what the question or crazy situation is. Thank you. It's true. I really do. Like, I've always, like, you know how, I don't know, like, usually in direct sales, it's hard to, like, get a straight answer. Like, you'll be talking to someone, you'll be like, hey, what's the answer to this? And they'll be like, oh message me here. And you're like, no, but I just want to know the answer to this. And they're like, well, what's, well, what, you know, what is your concern? And I'm like, no, I just want to know like this. And they don't tell you, uh, just ask me any questions you have. I will be totally transparent about everything. Like I don't, I don't BS. Like I don't, if there's a product I don't like, I will tell you. <laughs> so you can, you can count on me to give you that information. Um, anyways. Okay. Comment match for a color match. Um, or text me, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do a Two Shadow Tuesday. And please let me know if there's a different, a certain look that you want to see or something that I can create for you. Any questions that you have about your makeup. And maybe I can create a, a video that answers your question. Because if you have that question, other people will probably do too. So anyways, I love you guys so much. I've missed you. It's been over a week since I've been live just because of freaking conference and getting ready and like preparing for the all the things. And then uh, just, yeah, lots of stuff that are, I'm experiencing right now. So anyways, I love you guys. I miss you so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye.